Good morning again, Walter. I'm. I've decided to try this cutting a square hole with the eighth inch tool bit that I had on hand. It's very precarious, so I don't know if it'll work. Um, I may post it on YouTube if it does. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I may not. I may just put it on OneDrive for you to for you to take a look at. Um, I got the air turned off, and so there's chips building up. I'm going to be here for a while because um, uh, I'm, first, first of all, I'm going to stand here and keep the chips out of the way. And I'm going to also try to dab some oil on the edges of the hole so it'll run down in there. But um, here's what I did. I basically drilled, it, first of all, the, it's a 1018 steel, one inch in diameter. And um, the first thing I did was, you know, find the center and drill a hole through there. Uh, just a one quarter inch in diameter. And then what I did was I took a 3 16 inch end mill and in about, I don't know, just a few minutes, maybe, maybe six minutes or something, I cut a square hole through there, um, 5 16 inches across. So, that didn't take long, that went really quick. I, I've, I've left the center set at zero, zero, zero uh, the whole time. So I drilled the hole, and then I ran the first routine to cut the basic square hole. Then I went back on CamBam and changed the the software to use a uh, eighth inch end mill instead of a 3 16 inch end mill. I changed the depth of cut from 15 to five. So that means this is gonna take at least three times as long to cut as the last one did. Except that um, it, it's got the extra little pass into the corners. So I'm guessing that it's more than, it's 30 to 45 minutes to make this cut. So I've got the, I've, I'm running a couple thousand RPM and I've got the, um, the feed set at six still. But it's just, it's barely taking off any as it, as it goes down. It's been running now for 11 minutes and almost 12 minutes. And I'm about um, 28,000 down, I mean 285,000 down. So, um, yeah, it's going to be 45 minutes probably to run this routine. The end mill is an eighth of an inch with a half inch flute on it. It's got to go down in there one inch to get through the bar. And uh, as you can see in the video, the shank is sticking way out. The, the collet has got about, an eight, about a quarter of an inch grip on the shank. That's about it. So I'm leaving some, some clearance between the, the, um, the end mill clamp and the, and the rod. So I don't want to go right down onto the rod. Anyway, that's that's what's going on, and this is going to take a long time. So I'm not going to I'm not going to leave the camera going for the next 30 minutes. So what I'll do is um, stand here and watch it, keep the keep the chips away. And um, but if this if this works, uh, this will be perfect, um, actually. And I've, used, I've got a long enough piece of bar in there that I can create a, a new design for the, the holder, um, different than the one I did last time. The only, the only welding will be to weld the, the, uh, 
Well, the, the I don't know, what do I want to say? The one-inch diameter tubing to the to the bar that that goes up into the to the clapper or to the um, lantern uh, holder. So anyway, that's I'm not so sure I'll I'll get through this, but I'm down right now 3350. So I'm making headway. Um, basically, what it's got to do is the same thing it's been doing. So um, hopefully we'll get through. And um, I did look this morning. There is there are longer end mills. So that would be better actually. But I'd have to order an end mill someplace and. and uh, I, I really didn't want to do that. I got lots of eight inch end mills laying around, so but like I said before, they're all um, you know, just a half inch cutting glue on there, so and also they they're only an inch and a half long, the total length of the end mill. So what I need is an end mill that that's got a one inch cutting flute on it that's a couple inches long. And they have those. They are available. But um, Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, shut the camera off in a few minutes, and then I'll come back towards the end, and we'll take a look at the hole. Let's see if I can run a little oil down in there. Let's see if I can maybe blow it in there with some air. Lick. Yesterday the one I cut was cast iron, so so uh, I wasn't as worried about it, and I didn't use any oil or anything. But on this one, um, it's 1018 steel, so uh, I, I need to be a little bit more cautious. Also, yesterday I noticed that the I thought I had a uh, was doing a 10,000 step to cut, but actually I guess I was doing 15 when I looked at the software again this morning. So. Evidently, evidently, I didn't, I didn't change that. And that, that probably was the default. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call off now, and um, I'll be back. You won't notice the difference, but I'll be back in about uh, 15, 20 minutes, and we'll look at the end of this if, it, if I get that far. Talk to you later. Okay, while well, I'm back, just for a few seconds, we're a little over halfway, and it's 21 minutes at this point. So we're looking at at uh, 42 minutes. So I was pretty close, maybe 45 minutes to get through here, all the way through. But just a little, taking a little 5,000 bites, so not much. I just don't want to break the end mill. It's just, you know. It just it just means the routine won't finish and and you know, a bunch of things. So if I can get through the routine, I'd rather spend a little extra time. Could probably go through this whole thing faster, and also to definitely probably go through it faster if I had a a longer end mill that had a good bite up into the collet and stuff. But anyway, I'll I'll be back again in a few minutes. Um, I guess so. That another twenty five minutes or so. I'll be back again, and we'll take a look, and and if it if this fin finishes successfully, we'll see if we can put a a square piece of HSS in there, see if it fits. Um, it should fit yesterday, so I haven't done anything much different except except make some changes in the routine. But the the basic drawing that I did is. Uh, is the, and profile is the same, so that part hasn't changed. Anyway, I'm gonna blow some chips out of there and add some oil, and I'll be back in a few. Okay, Walter, I'm temporarily back again, just for a minute or two. Um, we're down, we're down about 0.7. We got a ways to go. I zoomed out. So you can see the setup, very precarious to say the least. I, I cut a long enough piece of bar, and I, I think it's about four inches long, 
so it's longer than I need, but um, I cut a long piece of bar, I squared off the ends, and, and I, um, I center drilled them, so I can put it back on the lathe later and do the, the work that I need to do. So, uh, anyway, I just, I just uh, wanted to zoom out show you what the setup was. I've had to, I had to stick the bar way out on the end so it's not very solid um, because it has to clear the, the spindle. So it's the only way without actually clamping it down to the table, this is the only way I could think of to put it in the bike. Um, but anyway, I think it's going to be okay. It was a little bit, I could feel a little vibration when I drilled it, but um, end milling is, running the end mill seems to have been okay. So, so I'm going to bring you in again. Well, I can't zoom in that far, can I? That's about the, the best it can do right there. Well, okay. I just want you to see the total setup. Seems to be going along okay. I'm, I'm two-thirds done or, or more, so... Got a ways to go. 30 minutes so far. Exactly 30 minutes so far. But, um... You know, I could... I could speed this up and maybe do it in half the time, but then we're talking about saving, you know, 20 minutes or something. So this is an easy, easy go this way, so. We'll just let it run like this. I'll be back at the finish. Okay, Walter, we're getting near the end of the routine, and the and the spindle's getting pretty close to the work, so uh, that means that uh, we got another few passes to go, maybe two passes, I don't know. You can see that the, let me put a light on it. You see the spindle's right down on the work, and it's just clearing my V-block. So we're, we're in close quarters down there, but I think we'll, we're okay. So, I think she's going to finish up here in a few minutes. There she goes. Into the ball game. Well, let's turn the, turn the uh, motor off and get the, let me take, shut the flashlight off. Flashlight does help, huh? Okay, let me, let's, let's run the Z-axis up a little bit. Oh, there we go again. <laughs> Oh, you know what? That's me, you know. The battery went dead on me. So I don't know what happened to the video. I hope the video is intact. Um, I don't even know if the last part of that last routine got got on video. The uh, screen keeps shutting off. I couldn't figure out why, but I didn't have the... I have the thing connected to the power, but I didn't have the switch turned on. So there you go. Uh, we're, we're running again now, so you can see the routine's finished. Um, I raised up the end mill, got it out of the way. So whatever's left here, we'll, we'll try to make do. So let me, um, let me zoom out a little bit. And um, let's get this thing out of the vise. I, I really clamped it in here tight, so, oh, well, it comes out easy enough. So there, there it is. Oh, a lot of oil underneath, naturally, right? Uh, we got some burrs on the other side we need to clean up, but that's no big deal. Looks pretty good, actually. So there it is. Let's see. Let's see if I can see it in my screen here. Okay, so there it is. Well, it actually did it, huh? Let's see here. Let's zoom in on it a little bit. Let me turn the light off behind it. That, I think that helps actually. So let's uh, let's let's change the um, 
Let's change the view a little bit. Let me bring the camera down. Somewhere about there maybe. You can see better. I don't know. You're looking into the hole. Let's see if I can... Yeah, that doesn't help anything. Well, okay. Anyway, so that's... It, it did it. So let's see what happens with the... I got a piece of H H HSS here. So let's see what happens. Oh, it does go in there. So there is some burrs. Okay, I'm in about I'm in about halfway. So there's some burrs down in there someplace. Let's see if I can figure out what what's going on with that. That might might take a little filing. I don't know. It all it almost goes in the other side, just not quite. So I'm going to have to hit it with a file I guess but it's not much whatever it is it's pretty darn close boy that fits like a glove in there so we're in good shape I think there's no problem um, it's within it's within a thousandth of an inch going in the other side so you know I didn't leave any play so it just depends on you know how much slop is in the mill and how much spring is in the end mill? Well, that 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 goes right in there halfway, no problem. All right, so there it is. It's going to work. It fits. It fits just like a glove in there. So uh, I'll hit it with a needle file and clean. There's a couple burrs in there, so I'll clean those. And should the corners are all cut out, so it's just the it's just the area, there's the back side, you can see the burrs so there's some deburring to do there where it came through because I actually I could have actually brought it through further but I didn't because um, I, I, I was getting awful close it, that, that was really pushing it So anyway so there we go it did work we got a nice hole through there, this is going to make an ideal holder and actually I can I won't have to do any welding on the internal part it'll just be a nice hole through a piece of well I'll turn that that portion right there down to part of that down to 5 8 and then I think what I'll step it down to 3 8 I saw one on I saw one on K's website that that it's just a 5 8 going straight through a piece of one inch material but I don't like that I I have that I have a setup like that um, that I did here a week or so ago and that the nut just too big I mean there's no reason for that big huge 5 8 nut to be on there so um, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna step it down to 3 8 like I did the last one and um, but it's gonna make a much nicer deal and there was just a little bit of brazing or welding on the outside of the the other part so it I, I think it's going to work out just fine and you can see the eighth inch end mill in the background let me um, zoom in on that a little bit you see how far I've got it sticking out the, the, the call it's only gripping about a quarter inch of it so that's not good but it it, it did work so we're in good shape so I'm happy with that and I'll post this on YouTube is mixed up as it is so you'll see what's going on okay I'm gonna call off now um, uh, at uh, Walter